Hello, beautiful souls. Well, it's Saturday, and I am sitting here at tennis waiting for Maddie Moo. Uh, she's got her tennis lessons, and so uh, there's very little uh, internet service here, and I, there's a few other things I was going to do while I'm waiting, but I thought I would do a quick little update. Um, I know I've been doing videos on dating, and I don't even... There's no news. <laughs> no. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, nothing interesting on that front. So I'm going to go ahead and get into a little bit with this new moon that's been coming. I mean, so we have a new moon. We have Saturn in retrograde and uh, in Pisces. And then we also have solstice energies that are hitting too. We had this big push and, you know, I've been feeling this, uh, this, dark release which is interesting um that i even just said that that way but right on um that's been happening for a couple weeks actually of these and actually no since the full moon hmm. a couple days or a couple weeks like around 15 days or so um of this dark release these karmic things that have been coming up into our awareness so that we can uh, let them go and it is requiring a certain amount of quiet introspection contemplation so notice if you are getting the nudge to quiet yourself i know there were a couple nights recently where I didn't have anything to do and this time of year is I mean if you have kids in school then you will get it because the end of school is crazy I mean there are parties um like after school then you have awards and then you have like for us there was field day there was I don't know like three field trips in the last month um or the last month and a half of school so it's been not so not to mention like that is just one of my children and that is like i mean yeah i'm in a co-op and so there's a certain amount that's required of parents so i have my regular i had because it's over now my regular volunteer time and then field day fun day blah 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 all these different things um going on oh tie-dyeing there are so many different things. Um, but now it's over. So it's funny. Yesterday was a whirlwind, I swear. So we got out of school and early and came home, cleaned the house. Like one of these things that I've been needing to do, like a full dust vacuum, um, you know, put things away. And the only thing I didn't get done was mopping. That was the last, that's the last thing. And I still didn't get it done. So that's left hanging, but in the grand scheme of things, that's very, very small. And then I took Maddie to go see a movie and we got home and just everybody was so tired. <laughs> we're just, we're like looking at each other going, wow, was this really just one day? You know, you know, when you have those days where it's like, you think back to the morning and you're like, was that this morning? That was yesterday. And so today we all slept in, uh, well, except for Alex, poor guy, he had to be at work at five, but the rest of us got to sleep in and just have a slow moving morning. Ah, uh, and I needed it. And the weather is not summer. So this is our first day of summer. <laughs> and well, it is cloudy and it is also not warm. So I had to pull back out all of our, uh, pull back out my sweatshirts and put them in the car, you know, and then of course layer like crazy because you never know what's happening. But 
Anyway, so today is a new moon. And it's interesting because I'm not always led to talk about uh, moon cycles, but I really have kind of felt this one with the full moon that happened last time and now the new moon that's happening. Uh, but all leading up to the solstice, which is this crazy... Uh, transformation energy that has to do with letting go of karmic cycles. Also, I have been noticing this push also, you know, we have Father's Day, at least in the U.S., right? So, um, a lot of people are closing out generational, uh, ancestral karma, um, this uh, trauma looping. And they're doing it by diving into it, by acknowledging that it existed, acknowledging the programming and conditioning, acknowledging the trauma and how it's been passed down, and then talking about it, setting boundaries, and being like, we're, we're not doing this anymore. I, this is where it stops. And it's happening through consciousness shift and conscious awareness. And being willing to take a look at the hard stuff and not just sweep it under the rug. So yeah, that's what I'm noticing. I'm also, it's so interesting, you know, this idea that many things can be true, even though they may seem to be contradictory. And like, for example, I have been called to go within big time, even though I've just been doing like my mom stuff and doing very bare minimum, um, like I'm still called to write in the morning and so I'm doing that but I'm kind of wondering if I'm going to take a break and just say you know what team this is the time for me to go within yeah that feels really good actually so to go you know almost into isolation I mean I've done this a lot this this uh purification we are all going through another metamorphosis. And my team keeps telling me, you know, Sally, you are doing tons of things that you don't even realize you're doing. Um, whether it be during daytime or dream time, um, I'm always on doing multiple things. You know, we talk about um, being multidimensional. We're only perceiving a very, very, very small amount of what we were actually doing. So I am being called to go within, yet I am also feeling very alone. And I've talked about this a lot, and it's kind of interesting because I've chosen really to be alone in my life. Um, I've had lots of opportunities um, to partner up with people but none of it felt right so here I am again having this loneliness come in and so you know my my life with I mean three kids um, is pretty busy and I am very rarely alone but in the summer I have weeks that I am by myself. And ideally, I mean, it sounds great and I get it, but it is a bit of a shock to my system. And it always is like this at the beginning of summer. And so I honor it. I honor the shift in the seasons, which this is what it is. 
where I go from being busy mom of school age children to um, week on week off with my kids in the summer. And it does allow me a lot of flexibility of what I want to go do, uh, where I want to travel. Um, not as much as you think with what I already have planned and going on just in general, but, <laughs> um, cool stuff. But it is, you know, where we honor the shifts and the changes in our lives. Even if we know that it's for the best, sometimes it doesn't feel good in the letting go. And it's okay. It's okay to feel however it is that you're feeling. Just please, so I keep telling myself, just please acknowledge it and try to feel it as fully as I can in any moment. Because here's the thing, I don't wanna settle. I don't wanna settle into a loneliness, first of all, but I also don't wanna settle into something because of loneliness either, if you know what I mean. And so I just am honoring all my connections. Yeah, just allowing myself to be, and I know I keep getting the message that for me right now, especially with this next week coming ahead with this new moon energy into solstice, is really just to rest that I need deep rest. It's almost like I'm feeling like there's a gearing up happening and we are needing to rest and rejuvenate beforehand. So please honor that if you're feeling that as well. Anyway, that is... Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Saturn in retrograde. That's a thing. Karmic ties and loops coming up to be seen, to be let go. Notice if you are seeing different patterns coming up, maybe with a different name, maybe with a different you know, not quite the same as they've always been, but a little bit different. And so we're, we're being asked to choose. Some might say tested. I mean, I see that we are being asked to totally look at our belief system and how we actually fit in in this world. How do we deserve to be treated? You know, what are our opportunities here? This is about manifestation, but it's bigger than that because it's this whole idea that you are unlimited, but a lot of people do not believe truly that they are unlimited. So it's about, um, it's about uh, dropping the limits that you've set for yourself through your beliefs in how you uh, should be moving in the world and what options you have and what opportunities you have and how much you can change your life and how long that should take and what desires you should have, if any. I mean, a lot of people believe that having desires is bad, right? You look at some religions, some ways of being and moving in the world and any desire is not desirable <laughs> uh, anyway <clears throat> so i'm just here just doing my thing writing anchoring in a certain vibration um hoping and calling in an energetic match you know i would love to have a partner 
that can, I want a best friend that can like roll with me. And let me tell you what, I'm seeing myself more fully than I ever have both the good and the the spicy parts of me, right? That, I mean, I do get kind of hot to handle sometimes, but somebody's got built-in pot holders. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not too much for somebody. Anyway, uh, solstice, oh, holy cow. We got, we got big changes all the way up till November. That's what I keep feeling. It's November, November, November. Big changes between now and then. Be willing to go into contemplation. Be willing to listen to your inner voice. A lot of people are feeling disillusioned right now. And disheartened, maybe, as a result. And so just, just know it's okay. Just keep going. This is all temporary. All of this feeling untethered and ungrounded and as we shake in this and integrate in this new um, consciousness you'll see it's gonna be okay but for right now we're feeling very untethered get out nature that is the best thing that I have found that helps me. And if you have uh, have some advice on what's working for you, please drop it in the comments because sharing is caring. Anyway, I love you guys. Um, have a great weekend. Happy, happy new moon in Gemini. And remember that the darkness within you is not anything to be afraid of, right? The shadows within you provide depth. It's time to fully integrate and accept and acknowledge and forgive yourself for all of it. Every lifetime, every belief, Right? Every role that you may have played in this life or past lives, other lives, concurrent lives. It's time to bring out the forgiveness and be generous with it. With yourself and with others. Love you guys. Bye.